I'm Janet Folger Porter. Most people know me as president and founder of Faith to Action, fighting for life, liberty, and the family. But now I'm a candidate for the Ohio State Senate. Yeah, it surprised me too. I asked a dozen people to run. They all said no. And so, well, somebody had to stand against the Republican obstructionist establishment. And if nobody else would do it, I put my own faith to action, and I pulled petitions to run for the state Senate. Here's the Medina County Gazette. Christian activist is seeking the Senate seat. Interestingly, my opponent called the office and said, well, well it's inaccurate what was printed. He said, he said that, she, that, that I didn't ask him to sign a discharge petition. Really? Well, here's the certified letter that I sent. Oh, here's the receipt, and it went out on October the 21st. Oh, and yeah, and it was in fact received, as you can see, it's signed by his office staffer who received the letter, and then I called to make sure of it on October the 26th, on October the 29th. I also called his office and talked with another staffer on November the 17th, and I personally visited uh, the senator's office on November the 20th. So he was asked to sign the discharge petition, but the way they pull these hairs, they try to say, well, I was only asked to initiate the discharge petition. Well, the whole point of initiating a discharge petition is in fact to sign it. You can't sign it without pulling it from the clerk's office and signing it. Why does this matter? Because it's what will bring the heartbeat bill to, a, to the floor for a vote. Something we have been waiting for five years to happen. Oh, they'll tell you how pro-life they are. In fact, my opponent will claim to have a 100% voting record on the pro-life issues. Well, that's easy to do when you never vote on the most pro-life bill. Uh, this is the most pro-life bill, the best chance to save the most lives. The heartbeat bill, which passed the Ohio House back in March, is one that will guarantee that if a heartbeat is detected, the baby is protected. And so that's not the only reason I'm running. I'm running for liberty, our religious freedom. There's three bills, one of which I helped to, uh, to formulate and to draft that will guarantee religious freedoms for business owners and for those who are practicing their faith in the public square. And not, not one of them has been touched by the Senate. They don't seem to be that interested in religious freedom. But they do talk a lot about how they're fiscally conservative. Really? Because here's a, here's a, uh, a memo from the Ohio Legislative Service Commission, and what do you know, uh, they've increased spending in the Ohio Senate every single year to the surprise of no one. So if you want somebody that's going to actually fight to defend life, not just talk about it or regulate it, Here's an interesting point. My opponent talked about the humanity, how it's inhumane what they're doing to the dead bodies of aborted babies. That's true. They're throwing them in landfills with yesterday's garbage. That's a bad thing. But how about we do something more? More than treat dead bodies humanely, how about we treat live babies humanely? There's an idea. Then we wouldn't have dead bodies at all. On education, I believe that repealing the horrific Common Core curriculum is just the beginning. A friend of mine who served on the Texas Board of Education drafted a bill I'd like to introduce called the Education Emancipation Act. What does that do? Well, it actually says, not like vouchers where the government claims it's their money and it's got strings attached to it and prohibitions. No, no, no. It's your own money from your own property tax that you can choose to spend however you'd like. You can send your children to government schools or you can homeschool them, send them to a charter school or to Christian schools and let people spend their own money on their children's education as they see fit. It's a bill whose time has come. People say, oh, that'll hurt the, the public school system. No, 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 the free market never hurt anything. It'll actually, I believe, raise the bar in the public school system. So instead of dumbing kids down with, with common core, they'll actually have to raise the standard in order to compete. So I think, you know, it was, it was just really a, an issue of nobody else would run. But the more I think about it, the more I think we could have a lot of fun in the Ohio Senate instead of on the outside begging them for their vote. We could actually take our government back because you know what? It doesn't belong to the establishment incumbents. It belongs to we the people. And I'm hoping you'll help me. If you go to JanetFolgerPorter.com, you, uh, you can find out ways to help, including volunteering for the campaign, joining the intercessory team, and yes, donating. Here's, the, here's the, the best news of the day. If you live in the state of Ohio, you actually have a tax credit. That means if you give $50 to the conservatives for Janet Porter, for Janet Folger Porter. And by the way, the only way my, the only reason my middle name is in there, my maiden name, 
is not because I'm hyphenated, not because I'm a feminist, as I tell my good friend Phyllis Schlafly. It's because last time I ran for office for the State Central Committee, I ran as Janet Folger. A lot of people knew me as Janet Folger. I wrote uh, True to Life and The Criminalization of Christianity, a lot of books as Janet Folger, and now I'm married. Pro-marriage, my married name is Porter. So on the ballot and on the website, it's Janet Folger Porter, or conservatives for Janet Folger Porter. And if you live in Ohio, you give a $50 donation, you'll be able to get that back on your taxes. If you're a married couple who files jointly, you can contribute $100. And again, you'll get that money back. So if you do it this year, before the end of the year, that, that tax re refund will come and when you file your taxes this spring. And by the way, I'm also a strong defender of the Second Amendment, which is what Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America said when he enthusiastically endorsed me for the Ohio State Senate. He said, quote, she will be the same leader in the Senate she has always been to guard against government control of our firearms and infringement of our freedoms. Here's my concealed carry. I've had it for many years. I care about the First Amendment. I care about the Second Amendment. And in fact, I care about the whole Constitution. If you do, and if you want to see it defended there in the State House. Uh, by the way, I also despise Obamacare. I don't dislike it. I despise Obamacare and all that it means. But my opponent voted for Obamacare in the state budget. I hope you'll join me in doing something about it at JanetFolgerPorter.com. Thanks so much in advance for putting your faith to action so that we can take our government back.